Well, substance abuse problems are not likely to go away anytime soon, but that's not stopping one local community from trying to solve the issue while educating the public. Organizers behind the Red Lake Drug and Gang Summit use speakers as well as discussion groups to share their message about drug problems. Lacey Montelion has more on the increasing impact of this annual event. The Red Lake Drug and Gang Summit started in response to a big problem. There was a huge epidemic with methamphetamines and we were having some gang issues here in Red Lake and uh, the chairman decided that maybe we, we better do something about it. And that they did. We educated people on methamphetamine and it did not come storming into Red Lake like it did a lot of other communities. Besides speakers and discussion groups, organizations throughout the state joined the summit to simply let the community know that they are there. It's a prevention program for youth and to prevent them from drugs and alcohol. And we use a lot of our cultural teachings and aspects as risk um, protectors. Law enforcement officials have taken notice. It actually is educating them to what to look for and what, what problems that exist out there, or what problems people have. This event is only in its seventh year, but organizers say they're already seeing an increase in popularity. And not only are more people attending, they're also seeing people coming from all over Minnesota. We have people from Leech Lake and White Earth here within and also the Bemidji area. Because issues with drugs and gangs is not just a Red Lake problem. Usually what goes on in Red Lake is going on in the surrounding areas. It may look like this group is fighting a losing battle as another drug begins to make waves. It's looking like heroin is going to be that drug of choice. But their resolve has not wavered and they'll be back again next year. We're here to help. We're here to educate people. And hopefully save a life. Lacey Montelion, Lakeland News. And the Drug and Gang Summit will continue tomorrow at the Seven Clans Casino in Red Lake with an added focus on drug intervention. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.